Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you guys how to make a better cover art than I, than uh, last time. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So I'm going to reverse engineer it for you and show you exactly how I did it. So I'll see you guys then. Okay. So the first thing that I did is I took the text, see through me. See through me. So all I did was I wrote, see through me. in this font right here so you can really choose any font you want but I can't remember the exact font I used let's say you want to use this font make it the right size alpha to selection select grow by how much you want to grow it by paste it up oh. need to make a new layer do that New another new layer. Select grow by three. Make it black. Put that ba back there. Now put this behind that. Boom. All right. So then, don't make a layer group like I did. That that's just stupid. All right. Now I'm going to show you how I did the next module. Next, I added these two characters right here. So, what I did there is I went to this cool website called Nova Skin. And I positioned the guy however I wanted him. So, for this guy, I made it so that he was holding up a sword. So, I'm just going to show you quickly how I did that. So, that's roughly what I did. Now, you just click Photo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Make sure that you press hold right so that there's a sword in his right hand. Or have all these guys just delete that. Now you open whatever you saved it as. I saved it as download number. There we go. Okay. Select none. So you put that there. Now I'm, I just grabbed a creeper off the internet. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put the link to the template in the description so then you open as layers the creeper which wherever I save that to if I can find it here one second there we go and I just put that so it's like right there and I selected it. Control C. Oh, nope. You merge it first. Then Control C. Over here. Control V. New layer, always. See? And then all I had to do that from there is scale it down. Sorry about that. And then put it right there. Boom. And that's how I did that part. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to show you guys how I did this part, okay? It's just super easy. All you have to do is take the text, make it the font you want, there we go. So then, alpha to selection, select, grow, since it's small text, you're going to want to do it like by like two, make a new layer, paint bucket it in, select, grow by another one, that's it, that's all you need for that, up, oh, make a new layer, it's just messing up a lot, okay, there we go, move the layers behind the text, there we go, and then make everything else invisible, merge it, then put them back, and then just take this down here, and resize it to however you need it. There you go. 
All right, now I'm going to show you guys how I did this part. That's how I put that guy there. As you can see, as I revealed already, all this part is probably the hardest part because you have to go in. So zoom in on it using your zoom tool if I can find it. Zoom in on the guy. Make sure that you have this, the actual layer that you want to use. Uh, make sure you have the layer that you want to use, that you want to select. Selected on the layers sheet over there. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Okay, I can't. Go. Alright, now you copy, paste, new layer, like always. Put him about right there. Move that so that it's completely set up where he is. And boom. Now he is hanging from the E. Okay. Now I've, this part is super easy. All I did was add the text there. So I don't think I have to show you guys that because I thought you guys think you guys are smart, you know? So this, all I did for this is I alpha to selection to everything. And I made a new layer, put face it them all. Now it's going to be off a little bit on these because they're different. And I slid it over to the left a little bit. And if you guys want me to make a tutorial on that, I can. But again, you know, trying to keep this short. And the last thing that I did really, I'm going to keep that off, is I added the background, which I just got from Google. Just Google up a background. And then I did this, how I did that. I'm going to make a new layer and show you. So I'm going to get rid of that layer. I just took this right here, the FG to transparent. Grab the filter, I mean the gradient tool. Went up pa a little bit past the middle there. Went up a little bit past the middle there. Boom. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. Stay salty.